yesterday I did bookkeeping for March and did my taxes, so I feel really accomplished. This week I have a few orders. Um, sales have slowed since I launched my spring papers. It was pretty consistent for the first two weeks, so I'm uh, really content about that. And when sales slow down, it gives me time to um, catch up on other things, uh, maybe do a project that is just for me or just for fun. I'm just starting to embrace the these drier periods um, and almost know when to expect them. It's felt so much better to trust and believe that more sales will come. Ultimately, because I am a handmade business, I rely on sales and so far that is my only income stream. Um, so when there are dry periods, I worry, I get anxious. Um, but I'm getting better at it. So I reached out to a few more artists that I admire and follow on YouTube and some of them had said yes to receiving some books from me. So I'm excited to make those this week. Yeah. That's that's kind of it.
customers chose. So this is going to be a dotted journal. I love the gold and silver foil that's on the clouds. It's just such a high quality paper. And they chose a light back cover, so uh, I glued a light purple. I thought it went really well with the dreamy look. Um, this is going to be a sketchbook. It's a really bright, bold, red cap mushroom pattern. And they chose a dark back cover, so this is a dark green. This is going to be a watercolor book. I named it the Muted Landscape on my shop. I thought that the color combination in the pattern is really unique and they chose a dark back cover, so here is the back. This goldfish pattern is a classic. I um, used to have goldfish, so I have a soft spot for them. This is gonna be a sketchbook. They chose a light back cover, so I have this pale blue. And then this is gonna be another watercolor book. Um, the pattern is called Dahlia's on my shop and they chose a, a bold, a bold back cover so I thought this orange really suited the color palette here. So as you can see the books are very customizable and I love to work on something new every time and I like to be surprised by the papers that people choose. So this week's orders are completely different from last week's orders, which were mostly the botanical paper. Even though the process is the same, I'm, I'm looking at different papers every time and that keeps things fresh and exciting for me. I feel like my creative energy is diminishing. I worked really hard since January and did so much and I kind of wish I vlogged through all of that because I was just outputting a lot. Um, new papers for winter and then I was upping my Instagram content, was posting every day. I started the 100 day project um, which I stopped around 40 days. Um, and then I, I launched my spring paper, so I feel like it's time to coast because I can feel my energy um, slowing down. So I'm, uh, it's, it's going to be hard for me to um, switch pace, but I'm, I want to intentionally tell myself and hold myself accountable uh, to, to coast. I feel like I've paddled, um, I've paddled, I worked hard, and now I've, I've arrived at this pit stop that is beautiful. It's, it, you know, I'm imagining um, a lake that's really calming and I really should um, stop here and take some time. So what that means for me is uh, just doing my orders, not, not try to come up with new ideas yet and do the bare minimum. Uh, for me, the bare minimum is just existing. So completing my orders, posting when I want, when I can, and just focusing on what's in front of me and letting, letting my energy dictate um, how hard I work this week.
Ultra. Oh wow, look at that packaging. God, so
Okay, end of week check-in. Did I coast this week? I feel like I did. Um, it was still a busy week, but I took it easy with social media and um, completed my orders. I got a root canal this week, so that helped and encouraged me to take a break and I've been getting more uh, back into Animal Crossing, slowing down and not expecting too much out of myself was a success. I'm so grateful that you watched this far and I really appreciate your comments and likes and subscribes. I'm almost to 100 subscribers so I would love it if you helped me get there. Okay, see you next time. Bye!